interview. Right over here. Why don't you do an interview, Aaron? Yeah, aircraft carrier holds roughly about 6,000. This model probably maybe close to about four or five thousand uh, because it's an older carrier. Um, when it's fully embarked, meaning that you have all your sailors on there, but you also have squadrons, right? Um, mm. That have personnel. It's probably about three to four hundred, um, depending on how many in the squadron. Various types of squadrons on there, um, and then you have your marine detachment. They serve as the, the uh, security for the aircraft carrier as well. Um, you probably have a couple hundred. Okay. But this probably held about 4,000. Wow. Right, give us five. So you say we are. Yeah, so right. Tell us what you served, where, when you served. Oh, so I served from 1985 to uh, 2005. I did 20 years. Um, did four years on the USS America. Uh, part of a squadron detachment on there. So every time they you know, went to go play games, we tagged along with them. Um, we were part of the uh, B2C Hawkeye squadron. So that's the squadron that you see. They have these real big domes on the top. Yeah. And what they do is they track So I was a yeoman, first class petty officer for the United States Navy. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for your service. Thank you. Appreciate thank you for your service. Thank you. Thank you. Have you actually been on board yet? We have. We have. We did. Uh, Three we, times. Okay. okay. Yeah, we were on it uh, Friday. So okay. We came back to the gift shop. Gotcha. Did they let you go through like the birthing spaces and stuff like that? Oh, yes, they did. We yeah. saw the bridge. Saw the bridge. Okay, okay, yeah. <laughs> Some place yeah. you would never want to be. I mean, yeah. yeah. Very uncomfortable living quarters on there, um, but you know, you make do. Yeah. You know, you could have 100 people in your birthing space. You know, we have a, I'm sure you saw the birthing We saw the, uh, yes, we saw the living space and we saw the, you know, the galley. And okay. Yeah, we saw the bridge too. Yeah. No. Just don't smoke that time. Listen, oh, no. Wow. But, I mean, it can get, it can get very hectic out there. Yeah. And especially if it's, you know, we're, um, if it's doing a conference, you know, you can't really be underestimated. You have to kind of make sure you put the guy's what's up. Right. You know, yes. so they'll give you out rations for different meals. You know, you might just be in the same place for four days because we didn't get fresh supplies on the feel to be on one of those ships out, out at sea. It would it would be like 80 degrees in there. Uh, it would be more than that. Yeah. It would be hotter than that. Hotter than that, buddy. Well, we would, uh, on some parts of the ship. So, you know, usually like in the Navy, you know, we do hit ports, right? But during those times, you know, we might go two months not seeing the port. Wow. And it can get very uh, hectic, you know, because you're cooped up tight spaces and the whole nine. So every now and then, I think it was like for the first... If we didn't hit a port like within the first 90 days or so, they would do like a skill beach picnic. And what that is, is we have a picnic on top of the flight deck. Oh. You know, you get your two cans of beer, you <laughs> 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 ration out, you know, and uh, you know, they would serve hot dogs and hamburgers and things of that nature. You know, real cookout. Right. You, you get your burger.
burgers and hot dogs. Glad to see you them. You know, but uh, they did that to keep the morale. Sure. Oh, yeah. you know, I mean, Two months in sea is a long time. Try, try six months, try nine months. Oh, God. Because on the newer ships, the newer carriers, they've been going out for nine months. God, you know, and again, you know, you can have you can have port visits, port visits established, but just any kind of conflict can change all of that. Sure. You know, and maybe you were, you know, slated to hit a port and something came up and they need you on, you know, somewhere else and you don't get that port. Wow. You know, you're just out there. There's a lot of water out there. A lot of water. <laughs> oh, yeah. A lot of water out there. Did you wow. see any kind of on that? From a distance. You know, your air, your aircraft carrier won't see major combat. Not kind of like how they did back then. Now we're much smarter about how we fight. Um, oftentimes, you know, there are several other ships around this when we're out there like that, you know, because they protect the carrier. Um, so, no, you won't see any major combat. You know, if the fighter jets on there, they'll do their thing. You know, we'll have a couple other small ships around, some destroyers and some frigates um, that will protect the carrier. Yeah. Wow. That's awesome. Thank you. 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 Thank you